back to another video. In this video, there are six apps made by Apple. I bet most of you guys use them all. They replace the original ones on, and these apps are on iOS and iPadOS. So let's start with the compass. So the compass, it's, this is the original compass. Let's see the accurate comparison. Okay. So I'll give Apple a point for faster. Wait, does this not know where to go? No, because it's metal. Okay. So clearly it doesn't work in a smart environment and in an environment where everybody has a phone. So I give Apple a point. I know it's more accurate. As you can see, it already gives you the thing you don't have to look with your little eyes and count the little dots on the top. And let's see on the iPad. So let me just put my iPad cool in. This is all my destroyed iPad. That's why there's no face ID if you want to see that. Up in the video up there. So let's open Compass. I don't think I have the app pre-installed. Let's download the app. Oh, damn it. This is the Apple Compass app. And um, it's not available for iPad. Nice job. So, I phone wins a point for this. You can put this in the bin. Okay, next one. Notes. So, I'm using notes now. So clearly, the Apple Notes is really doing a huge point. I think the Apple One is better. Now, on the Notes on iPad, the good thing is, on the iPad, the Notes, how do you, oh yeah. To get a new note, you just have to buy an Apple Pencil for 130 bucks. You tap that. Oh, it's not connected. Please connect to my life. First, you gotta connect it. Please have five minutes to connect. Okay, oh. Arc to connect all that. So you gotta put your password in. Now when it's off. Oh perfect, it works. So I had to give Apple the iPad the point because it has pen support. And then I'll give because this one's on keyboard. And we want to know you want a bigger screen or bigger <laughs> paper. But the problem with this it has bezels. Whereas a real note doesn't have any bezels. But you gotta purchase Apple Pencil and the iPad. So then it's more money. So let's check that and check that. Now the maps. So I don't need to open the maps here. As you can see, it's enormous, but you need to buy a SIM card. But luckily this one here has a SIM card tray inside. You gotta spend um, a monthly payment to get 4G and then your Google Maps works. Cause if you need Google Maps inside your house, you must be a bit pathetic. So let's see the maps here so where is this maps okay here let's do apple, apple park. park let's see it okay it takes a while to load okay here we have it oh okay it's loading but the new apple park thing is in 3d that's so damn cool you can see everything in 3d and the trees look the funniest i recommend you seeing it yourself the trees look so funny I hear the trees are not so pathetic, but like if you look at other trees, the trees, like the pine trees are so weird. Here, this is, I think this is the first place the Apple did 3D, but it doesn't look so bad. Okay. And this one is the same, I assume, but since it's bigger, so I'll give that one a point. So what's the next one? Maps, tick, signal. So Apple Books, I never use Apple Books and it's not really good to have lots of screen time and Apple Books really makes have has makes you have a longer screen time. So I'll give the real book a tick. But the thing is, with the new thing, you can have a book that's this thin and have a few billion pages and a few billion books if you have a, a ton of storage. But the books and the books are this thick, so it's a draw. Next is calculator. So let's open the calculator app. Calculator. Here we have it. Nice. And how do you have all the options? Okay, here. Okay. Nice. How about my bed? Uh, no. The keyboard is not, uh, the calculator is not available on the iPad. 
Apple's calculator is not available on their iPad. That's just completely crazy. It has it on Mac, but it's not on the iPad. And the Macs are so damn annoying, so I don't recommend using it on the Mac. So you don't have it. You can download a third-party one if you like third-party apps. Let's do it. Cal calculator. The third-party ones, I don't want to download some because they have all viruses and fun a bunch of ads just ads non-stop you can't your little calculation ends up being forever because you have to like watch the ad and so much ad and look so disgusting and also on top of that it doesn't work well at all and it's just worse it has less buttons than this is just like if you can't do this in your head then i don't know how if i don't know how you um yeah you didn't say you know enough but of course, the original calculator, if you have a proper one like this one here, all this one here is way better. You don't have to do anything. You just tell this guy to do it for you. So this gets a definite point. But this one here, it's, as Apple says, on up Steve Jobs graph, if you've seen it on the iPhone first, iPhone 2G launch event, the easy to use and smart right up that corner. And I have to say this calculator is easy to use, but not smart because this one here is way smarter. So now let's move on to the next one. And the last, last but not least, the measurements. So you have the same app on the iPad. You don't need to see it. And we don't need this calculator. Let's open this measurement app here. Maybe high Apple, let's measure. Okay, let's measure the Apple Magic Mouse, the weirdest looking shaped on this. Move further away, so it's telling you. No, no, no. So it says that's 11 cm. Let's take the real rule, <laughs> the endless rule. It's, yeah, it's 11 cm. I'm both correct. But you don't have to carry walk around with this super long ruler because this one here, it's quite long, but quite small. That's so cool. So I'll give the uh, Apple another point. So I think Apple mastered these apps, except for some of the iPads, like the ones that don't even exist on iPads, but you can see on the App Store, just to make you jealous if you don't have an iPhone. But the problem is the the one app that I wish to have on my iPad is the is the calculator that um works with the split screen because that would be so so cool but it's not existing. It's so sad. And thank you for watching. See you in the next one. And please subscribe and share and like this video. Bye.